mnyeni wam staring umnyeni wam so this was the time we went to the border of Botswana what a time we arrived in the 18 area and the fire was lit as you can see first things first meat yeah, yeah gotta buy that meat had to take care of the stomach then tomorrow morning we're about to light it up lit had to end of the night burning some wood it was a good day it was a nice bonfire happening there because we were preparing for the next day i was determined to get myself a wildebeest in the morning so apparently there's a crocodile that lives in that river so we out here with a crocodile a predator yeah a slit so i live there by that light the crocodile is there by that light if i die i die but i'm killing it first yeah so i'm in bed right now it is dark but yeah It is 6 30 a.m. We are pro week. We're about to go. Outfit of the day. So, that looks like a game ranger. We're out here. Paga to inside. But to. Go skit an animal. I have a incron or something growing. It hurts, but it's fine. Yeah. My body is a bit fragile. Last night it was lit. But we're here now. On the way to the site but to put in that work in the morning, beautiful sun, look at the sunrise, what a time, all oh, good, fresh air, no, I was ready, I was ready. Now we're on site with the PK, carrying that pew pew, it was very heavy, I'm not gonna lie, it was very heavy, three hours, oh my goodness. So this is the bad boy, so this is the after putting in the work, cow. three hours in, I, I just and... And I loved it. Yeah, it was a thrilling experience. After putting in that work, I decided I was done for the day. And that's me carrying it to the Slachis. That's where it was being processed. This is what hit it that came out the pew pew. Look at that, quite interesting. This was it. All 103 kgs of it. It was a lot of work, but it was nice. Look at that. I put in that work. I'm so proud. So yeah, shot my first of all the beers. It was exciting in the moment. I'm also in the back here now. In the moment, I was very calm. Like an an athlete and I just did it was exciting and yeah it was it was fun
also the camp we own is on the border of South Africa and Botswana. So there's no network, there's nothing. This is a problem. is a hundred kilometers away like that's how far we are from like society I guess and this farm is 10,000 hectares and we're the only people on here so while hunting we both we all not both all of us are like were split up into groups and you all you, we all went with our spotters and stuff and I was with the professional hunter and we like it's like you have 10,000 k's per person like 10 10 what, what am I saying 100 not 10 k's like per block because we were split up into two blocks so we don't mistakenly shoot the other hunters, you know, so we had to be like sectionalized in a way. But yeah, there is so much land. Like the amount of land is quite scary. And the bush is not like you can see. You only see the animal once it's in front of you. Like because it's proper bush. went down instantly. So I've been told that was a good shot. At this point, it was 1 p.m. It was so hot. This farm is situated on the border of, Lesu of Botswana. It's just vast land. It was so hot. We were driving around picking up everyone's stock and what a hot day. It's home. Um, so this is what we have to just turn in. My room is there. There, there, there. There. Is there any part to the place? Thank goodness. Mm. Lama out there. As you can see by my face at this point, I was idhbit. I was tired with capital letters. Look at how I'm sitting even. I was done for the day. Everything was just hot, sweating. And then I had MacGyver here in front of me aiming at everything. To end us off, let me take you on a small tour of the farm what a beautiful place it was so peaceful i had so much fun it's just a secluded farm on the border of Botswana. what a time and this is the chalet where i was camping in very comfortable um shout out to jandre and the Um. they were good hosts 
and yeah we shall do this again and i'll take you on the trip again next time thank you for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this now i'll leave you to a snippet of this nduna thinking is macgyver over here Please like and subscribe to my wife's YouTube channel because she's the best and I love her. Thank you. Bye-bye.